Hearty Choice Ziti Marinara. I have to say it like that because I'm Italian. Um, this is okay. It's not Ziti Marinara. I guess it is. Just, you know, my grandmother would be rolling all over in her grave if she saw me eating this. <clears throat> uh, I soaked it. Uh, it's been soaking for two and a half hours, and I'm going to have to go ahead and start cooking it because I have to eat soon. It is, um, I'm very hungry right now. I'm going to add a little something to it. You're going to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to, like I said, it, this has been soaking for two and a half hours. It is um, not awful looking. It, the meat is very similar to the meat and the sloppy joe. <laughs> I'm putting this in for one minute in the nucleator for one minute, and you'll see what I'm going to add. It's I don't know. I've never seen anybody add this to uh, MetaFast food, and I think that it's a pretty good idea. Okay. So the handy dandy quick start guide. You know, I've been doing MetaFast on and off for a long time, and I still refer to this thing. Um, it says this has the carbohydrate counts, and these are the different vegetables that they want you to do for your green, or that you know they're just giving examples of ones. Zucchini in your ziti. Yes, we're gonna stay Italian. It is in the moderate carbohydrate section. It is under summer squash, scallop, or zucchini. There's another one in the higher car carbohydrate that says summer squash, but that's considered crook neck or straight neck. I don't know what either one of those things are. Mm -hmm. But anyway, if you don't have one of these, you should pick it up. Everybody, pick it up. What are you gonna to go to a store? Are there better fest stores? I don't know. Maybe I'll start one. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I think you can get this online too. And I think everybody who orders Metafast, it comes in their first um, order. So that's pretty hot, even though it's only one minute, but it was room temperature. And so now I am going to add, I'll just show you real quick. This is it. Stop and Shop Everything. Stop and Shop Everything. Slay Zucchini. I actually let it sit out for the past two hours because I don't want it to cool off the food too much when I'm cooking it. So it's like, it's still cold. It still has little ice crystals on it, but it's not like right from the freezer. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't eat frozen vegetables on a very regular basis, but I do like to keep them in the freezer just because, you know, <laughs> I have kids and I have a job and uh, we need to have frozen vegetables in the house just for emergencies. So now this is almost a little bit more like a stew because the ziti marinara is very watery. It's very watery. So this is, I love doing this. This makes it a lot heavier. Yes, I'm going to count it as one of my servings. So tonight I'm only going to have two servings of vegetable. This is going to go in for another I minute. I think adding fresh zucchini probably wouldn't be as good. I think that zucchini kind of needs to be cooked a little bit, kind of like kale. Raw kale is tough, man. That's really tough. I can't do raw kale. I like to saute kale and I like to bake it in the oven to make kale chips, which is really cool. Um, so this is one minute and then one minute. So it's a total of two minutes. This is not the way it says to do it on the package, but it's because I soaked it. I don't have to cook it as long. All right, so this is delicious. This looks absolutely phenomenal. Now, everybody knows that I like spicy. I'm gonna do a spicy a hot sauce video. Um, which one? Which one? I think I'm gonna do this one. Frank's Extra Hot, without the E. I don't know why, they left it off. I'm gonna go eat my lunch. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Remember to like and subscribe. 